Welcome stars. Welcome to all astrology. We're going to take a walk through the December energies. December has an eclipse. And we talked about the December eclipse very vaguely back four to six weeks ago because it references the United States. It is a new moon, total solar eclipse. South node, total solar eclipse. So we're gonna find out just what the heck that means, where this happens in your life, how this will affect all of us. New moon, which is a new beginning. It is a total solar eclipse. Solar is the sun, right? And that's how we understand the new moon eclipse. It's the sun and the moon together. And when we have the sun and the moon together, it's a new beginning, but it's an eclipse. So it's usually quite powerful. It's a magnificent time for manifesting, for bringing something in that which you desire. This is the time. This is the Merlin energy. This is the metaphysician energy. It's okay. I understand how the law of attraction works. I understand this focus. I understand intent. I understand, understand feelings and emotions. And when I combine those together, but it all begins here. It all begins here. It happens in the sign of Sagittarius. Let's dissect that a little bit. Sagittarian here are keywords for Sagittarius energy. Our beliefs. Beliefs about what? Your philosophy on life, spirituality, religion, freedom and truth. Freedom. My freedom and my truth. 2020, 2021, my freedom of speech, the freedom to do what I want with my body, the sovereignty of my body. Sagittarian energy is also the courtroom. It's the judicial system, right? It's the judge. Think about that. Think about all that's been going on. Differences of opinions, an eclipse, which means something new is beginning and it will affect, you know, your philosophy on life. This is also higher education, right? Taking extended education. This is college. You may go to school or you may become the teacher. You can be an intellectual teacher. You may be a spiritual teacher, a guru ruled by Jupiter. So it's known to be that planet that's way out there and you're, you're connecting in with the cosmos. Some call it the house in which you talk to God. The Father, I'm talking to Creator, I'm talking to the One, which is Jupiter. Very wise, Jupiter, Sagittarius, very wise. But you possess that too. It's an innate wisdom that you have about something in your life. And that something, and what is it, is wherever you have Sagittarius energy in your chart. What house is it in? Where's Jupiter in your chart, right? This is that area of life where you have some a nugget of knowledge that others could probably benefit from. The balanced way is to present it. I feel strongly about this. I'm going to share this. It is up to you to do with it as you please. So Sagittarian energy expressed on a very um, not so wonderful way is where someone's literally trying to force feed it to you. Sagittarius energy, where is it in your chart? If you don't know and you want to know, comment below and I'll take care of you. Now, freedom, freedom of truth, freedom of religion. This is the new moon. This is the new beginning, but it is South Node, total solar eclipse. A new beginning. It's the father and the mother together creating something, especially since it's in Sagittarius. Because as Jupiter being its ruler, Jupiter adds to things. So you may find yourself like, oh, I want to get this done and this and this. You may find that your list of things that you want to manifest, you want to bring into your life, the new things you want to do are huge. And so you might have to dial it back a little bit because Jupiter tends to exaggerate things. It expands on something. It says, go big or go home. Jupiter lacks the Virgo practicality, right? Virgo is, I can see the details. Jupiter doesn't see the details and it wants everything to be larger and it sees the big picture. So it's really great for seeing into the future. It's really great for understanding society. Uh, forward thinking, it just kind of can see into the future. Sagittarian energy, Jupiter, is known as the seer because it knows things. All right, here, I wanted you to see this. Here's the sun and here's the moon. You see, they're at 12 degrees and 22 minutes. What's next to that? 
the sign of Mercury will be involved in this new moon. It's at 15 degrees and 13 minutes. Sagittarius themes, themes. Remember, it exaggerates. This is December 4th. Mars is at 2340 here. So that's technically 24 degrees. Mars is fixed. And so what jumped right out at me first and front center is Jupiter. Jupiter is at 2550, 26. So Jupiter and Mars are squaring each other. Square signifies stress and tension. Here's the thing. Mars is really strong in the sign of Scorpio because it rules this sign. It co-rules it with Pluto. So it's very powerful, but it's being squared by Jupiter. So there's something here in the Aquarian energy, the expansiveness of it. These represent the public and your friends and the social circle. Mars is your physical body. So if something is squaring your Mars, it can zap some of its energy. And this is a fixed sign and this is a fixed sign. So they're angling each other in an awkward, uncomfortable way. Mars is shared values that Mars has with somebody. It's blood bonds. So it's people that we are related to, right? It's inheritances because that's Scorpio energy, but it's energetic wounds too, deep energetic wounds. It's intense emotions, intense emotions about our bodies possibly. It's a so let's take a look at Mercury because that's how we think. That's what we're going to be talking about. And so if it's in Sag, it's definitely all about the judicial systems, freedom of religion, freedom of thought, freedom of speech. This solar eclipse means we're beginning something new. Okay. So Mercury is going to square Neptune. Virgo would also square Mercury. So when Mercury gets to 20 degrees, it's, you know, when it gets to 16, 17, it's going to start, you're going to start filling that square. Now, remember Mercury is your thinking. It's going to make it blurred your communication. So don't do anything important as far as signing documents while Mercury is squaring Neptune. If you want more details about that's a very quick thing for me to look at. Just comment here is that Mercury does represent transportation and in Sagittarius, it could be the airlines. So if you've got Mercury in Sagittarius squaring Neptune this way and then squaring Neptune over here, that could be a problem. Now, does that mean horrible crap? Not necessarily, not unless it also says it in your natal chart, but it could mean extreme delays, cancellations, right? It could mean a whole bunch of crap. So if you want to know ahead of time, drop me a comment below.